Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina up against Portugal. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Well, in this shape, unless their wing-backs play further forward, there won't be any width in their attacks, which then puts a lot of pressure on the strikers to provide the goal threat. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the center of midfield. And it's an interesting looking attacking constellation with three forwards listed from the start. And the match begins. Bernardo Silva. Joao Felix. Well, tremendous block. It's going to be a throw in for Portugal here. Neves. Terrific defending to stop them progressing. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Martinez. And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. Well, so many reasons to highlight Lautaro Martinez, not least because he can be so effective. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this game? Well, Derek, he's brilliant in the air, so expect crossing to be a big part of their game plan today. Making the pitch big, getting the ball out wide, and deliver as many crosses into the box as possible. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Martinez. Might jump in front. Oh, fine stop. Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stuart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. Now, well, Molina. Martinez. Teammates available. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Alvarez. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Could play it in. Just 
the challenge that was required. De Paul. McAllister. The ball with Martinez. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. And off the post. Well, it wasn't going to stand in any case with the flag raised. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Ramos, Dallo, on to Bruno Fernandes, Felix, and no way through. Lisandro Martinez, here's Alvarez, Alvarez. Return to Martinez. How about the cross? Martinez. He's got to score! And it's in! We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to save her. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. And so the ball is moving again. Will there be a quick response from Portugal here? There needs to be. Well, not giving the opposition a look in. That's strong play. Joao Felix. On to Silva. And Portugal moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Surely the equaliser. Guerrero. Really doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Otavio. Felix. Now with Silva. Superbly read and executed. Well, as you can see, Argentina have found it difficult to control the tempo of the game here. But their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Fernandes. And teammates to play it to. Timely intervention. Can he finish? What an important piece of defending. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Elects to go short. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. And that goes down as a very disappointing attempt. Well, the keeper can't believe his luck. That's a really poor effort. Martinez. And Argentina giving it away. Joao Felix. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Lisandro Martinez. Here's Alvarez. An awful lot of green space to run into. Unable to get himself back onside here. Well, he was always going to be offside. That was the wrong option.
And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. A wonderful intervention. Is it going to be? And there it is. But hang on, the flag has gone up and it's not going to count. Well, it was a close call, but he is just offside. Good finish, mind you. Ruben Dias. On the ball, Joao Felix. Portugal pushing forward with options available. Moving forward effectively. But it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. Well, the card is out and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. a free kick and that's how to make a save so Portugal behind but now what can they do with this corner and short it is Guerrero and he takes it on well fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper For the short one. Guerrero. Can he take the chance? Oh, he's blocked it. Alvarez. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Wasn't messing around with the clearance. This attack looks highly promising. Well, flinging himself at the ball. the short option preferred well we're into the final half hour crossing possibilities can they make the connection here and problem solved for now
Now, well, brilliant work to keep that one in play. Marcos Acuna. Martinez. Guerrero. Ramos. Ruben Neves. It's a promising move from Portugal. Good effort here. Well, the keeper made the save pretty easily in the end. McAllister. Marcos Acuna. Here's Alvarez. Well, that challenge was overly robust, to say the least. Now we look towards the referee. What will her decision be? And the referee does send him off. No arguments there. Well, no complaints, really, but they need to reorganise now and quickly. Martinez. Oh, he's missed, but by a minuscule margin. Well, he couldn't have made better contact than that. His technique is brilliant. He's so unlucky there. Joao Felix. Guerrero. And it's Ruben Dias. On the ball, Joao Felix. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw in. Well, shielding the ball admirably. Ruben Neves. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Now the free kick. Opportunity! And clears the danger. Bruno Fernandes and with that the attack fizzles out Romero De Paul using his physical strength to shield it Lisandro Martinez ten minutes to go Molina Forward they go, chasing the game. Fernando Silva. Oh, I can't believe it! Twists and turns in the closing stages. And it's anyone's guess who's going to lift the trophy. Incredible. Well, just look at the setup here. It's such a clever backheel. And then the finish from Bernardo Silva demonstrates his ability to make the right run at the right time. What a good goal. So back underway following the equaliser. Alvarez. Fernandez. Here's Alvarez. On the offensive, is there to be late excitement? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Joao Cancelo. 
Ronaldo Silva. Oh, surely! Well, I think he's going to be a bit cross with himself. Well, that should have been the winner, but he's got it all wrong. That's an easy save for the keeper. Rodrigo De Paul is with Paredes. Martinez. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Options in the middle. Martinez. Determined defending. Now can they counter clinically? Defenders need to cover. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. No space for them here. And a goal at this stage could be decisive. And players waiting in the centre. Takes it on. Oh, a goal! And how important could that be? Maybe it's a story of one hand on the trophy at this stage of the final. A huge moment. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well-balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. And there goes the final whistle for the third time in history Argentina have won the World Cup and I have to say Derek they've been the best team in the tournament there's no doubt about that Argentina, world champions! They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans. Was an important piece of defending. So following the deflection. A wonderful intervention. And there it is. But hang on, the flag has gone up and it's not going to catch.